What's up everyone? Welcome back to another exciting Flutter tutorial on Widget Wisdom. In today's video, we have got something super cool lined up. We are going to show you how to create different types of bottom sheets in Flutter, including a model bottom sheet with a custom height, a scrollable bottom sheet where you can control its size, and a full screen bottom sheet that takes over your entire screen. So whether you are looking to add a neat little bottom sheet to your app or you want to full control over its behavior, stick around because we are diving deep into all of that. You definitely don't want to miss this. All right, let's kick things off by creating a model bottom sheet with a custom height. Here's what we are going to do. I have already set it up a new flutter project in which I'm having a scaffold app bar and then body and inside body I'm having a column widget then for children here just add an elevated button and for its child add a text widget which will say open model bottom sheet now come to this on pressed property so from here call this show model bottom sheet function so this function is responsible for opening the model bottom sheet in flutter okay inside this function we need to pass the context and builder so here add the context and builder and from builder just return a simple container now if you save the code and run the application then you can see when i tap onto this open model sheet button then an empty model bottom sheet is appeared on the screen but it's taking 60 percent of the current height so let's fix this so for that from here remove this container and from here return build sheet now come below here and here create a new widget as build sheet and then from here return a container which will have going to have height of 200 okay then for its color uh, just add the gray color to it and then for its child add a center widget then add a text widget which will say this is a model bottom sheet and for its style add the white color to it okay now if you save the code and run the application then you can see when i tap onto this open model bottom sheet button then the bottom sheet was opening but it's only having 200 height so this is how you can customize the height of any bottom sheet in flutter now let's see how we can create an scrollable bottom sheet in flutter so for that come above here and here add a size box of height 20 and then add one more elevated button or rather than adding one more elevated button just copy the above button and here add that and just change the text to open scrollable bottom sheet okay and then from here instead of build sheet uh, here return the build scrollable sheet now come below and here create another widget as build scrollable sheet okay then from here just simply return the list view dot builder and let's say we are having 20 item and we want to scroll the list okay so here add the item count as 20 and then add the item builder and then from here return a list style widget and for its title just add the text widget which will say item and then the index now if you save the code and run the application then if i tap onto this open scrollable bottom sheet then you can see i have this bottom sheet and it is scrollable so this is how you can create the scrollable bottom sheet in flutter okay now let's move to the last thing that is building a full screen bottom sheet in flutter so for that uh, again just copy the above sized box and elevated button below here and then just change the text to open full screen bottom sheet and change this method to build full screen sheet now come below here and here create this method now come inside this method and here's the interesting thing going on okay so from here uh, return a draggable scrollable sheet okay so this draggable scrollable sheet creates a scrollable sheet that can be dragged vertically by the user it's commonly used for bottom sheets that can expand or contract now here is the few key property which we need to define first one is the initial child size so add the one for it so this defines the initial size of the sheet as the fraction of the available height and we have added one here so it's mean that the sheets start at a full screen height that means 100 percent of available height then we have max child size so this defines the maximum size the sheet can expand to so here add the max child size as one basically it's mean that the sheet cannot expand beyond 100 percent of the available height then we have min child size so this defines the minimum size the sheet can collapse to okay so here just add the 0 
so it's mean the sheet cannot collapse to 50% of the available height like it can go only to 50% of available height now we need to add the builder property so here add the builder property and this builder property will give us the context and scroll controller so as you know context is the widgets build context and then we have the scroll controller so this is the controller that is passed to its child widget so that its child widget can have synchronized sync scrolling behavior okay then from here just return a container and let's add the green color for this container then for its child here again add the list view dot builder and then pass this scroll controller as the controller of this list view then here add the item count as 30 and then add the item builder and then here return the list and widget with the text as full screen item then the index now if you save the code and run the application then you can see when i tap onto this button then the full height bottom sheet is appeared on the screen and you can scroll this sheet okay and now if you drag this sheet then you can see it can go up to this height but if i drag this bottom sheet below 50 percent of available height then it will disappear so that's it about the full screen bottom sheet and that's it for this video and if you enjoyed this video then please give us a thumbs up and if you have any suggestion for me then please let me know about those in the comments and thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next exciting video